If you're spending money on Facebook ads and you're sending them to an opt-in page and your ads seem to be working really well but your opt-in page sucks, I'm gonna share with you a few different things that you can check to see if you can improve your opt-in page, otherwise your ad spend is going into a black hole. The first thing to check is if there's a message mismatch. If you've got an ad, you're coming from a certain angle, you're using a certain type of wording and you're giving them a promise, yet when they click through, the promise on that page is not the same, then there's gonna be a mismatch in the message. You wanna make sure there's a consistency throughout. The other thing is perhaps there's an image mismatch. You might have an image of a PDF or something you're giving away for free, then you go through to the opt-in page and the offer image is different. You wanna make sure that there's consistency there. Maybe you've got an engaging ad, but when they go over to the opt-in page, there's not enough pull to get them to actually put in their name and email address. Let's say you've got a title and the title says how to grow your business. Now every man and his dog out there is trying to teach you how to grow your business. You're more likely to get opt-ins if you have a title that says eight ways to increase your sales in the next 14 days. It's got way more pull than the first option. So make sure the title on your opt-in page has real power and again, is aligned with what you're offering on the Facebook ad. One thing a lot of people do on their opt-in page is they try and do too much. So instead of keeping it nice and simple with a really powerful headline and a simple opt-in, they start adding all of these other things to try and convince them to opt in. If there's too much going on, their brain's gonna get confused and they're not gonna do anything. So make sure it's a really simple, clear page for them to read, make sure the headline is powerful, they're far more likely to opt in. Sometimes when you go to an opt-in page, you can read a powerful headline, but the bit where they're supposed to put in their name and email address, they have to scroll down to get to it. So it's not immediately in their face and we call that above the fold. Make sure the actual part where they opt in, the button and the opt-in form, they don't have to scroll to get to it. Test it on a small screen, test it on a laptop screen, make sure that works. And remember that most people view opt-in pages on their phones. So always test your page to make sure it looks good on mobile phone as well. And the last thing is always test your opt-in pages. Sometimes you can be sending a bunch of traffic there from ads if you haven't tested it to make sure when they opt in, it goes to the correct place and delivers what you've told them you're gonna get. If that's not working and you haven't tested it, you could just be pouring money into that black hole again. If you like this video, then hit subscribe. We've got a whole lot more for you. And if you want to talk to one of our funnel strategy experts, go book a free chat over at funnelsession.com.